Welcome back to another maybe flag episode. I just got done setting up, put three flags out. Actually, this time I put up two flags and one automatic fisherman. So if I do catch a fish today, I will tell you guys all about it. It's still kind of early. It's uh, let me see here. I got out here kind of late. I mean, it's 8.35. I got done setting up around 15, 20 minutes ago. Honestly, I don't know what to expect because I haven't ice fished this area ever. Actually, I mean, maybe once. That was like a while ago, but I didn't do too good. The result out here is definitely on the random side. Hopefully we can figure something out today. Let me tell you guys something though. This weather that we've been having, it's very, very odd. Like it's raining snow you know what i mean like that make any sense like just snow and rain at the same time so that's the slush right there like that looks like snow but it's not that's just straight up slush and i got all my stuff inside drying up because again we got some shiners out and hopefully we can get one bite if i can get one bite i can make this video happen if i can't hey man just stick around and we'll figure something out overall i got three lines out here i am just sitting Nothing's in here. Probably just watch some anime and just chill, you know? So stick around. I'll see you guys when the flag pops up. Stay tuned. Jeez. I'm on call with my best friends. Look at them. Look how miserable they look. <laughs> But um, due to my walk here, Shiner's still dancing, everything still looks good. It is slow today guys, very slow. Yeah, like I said, I got a pretty even and coverage of spread out here, the spread. I got one in seven feet, this one's in like six and a half, maybe even just five, I don't know. But, a shallow one here. Shiner's still alive. The bobber's still moving. And I got one way out here in 10 feet. So I think my triangle coverage is pretty good. Yeah, because if they come, they come from the deep, you know, on this one right here. They'll hit this one. Yep, this will be the first one to go up. So I don't know. A pike just showed up. A pike just showed up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big old pike. I'm gonna leave that right there. Big freaking pike just showed up. Oh my gosh, dude. I saw it through the hole. Dude, that thing was huge. Oh my gosh. Why didn't it take it? Oh, I'm shaking. It's <gasps> sketchy as heck. <laughs> yep. Oh man, that's sketchy. It's fresh ice. Okay, we got a good uh, five inches, we're good. This is day two of failing. <laughs> I mean, I didn't fail yet, I just got out here. Okay, I saw an intro there. We were struggling to get on 
to the ice. Now, you're probably wondering like, why would I even bother if the shoreline is breaking like that? Number one, it's just the shoreline where I was. Yes, it's dangerous, but number two, I took precaution and I found a sturdy, like stronger ice to walk on. So it definitely had like two, three inches on there. I'm not a really big guy, so I wasn't too worried about it. Do take precaution when you come out here, okay? Cause it can be dangerous. I spun my way all the way through where I'm at now. I'm not even too far from the shore, honestly. I'm only like, you can see in the back there, I'm only maybe like 150 yards away. So, I mean, the bay that I'm in, it's like seven feet. So you're talking about like five, six inches of ice that I'm sitting on right now. So again, take precaution, you know, have your spikes on you, have your spud on you, have your floating suit. Even though I didn't have it on, but I'm pretty confident that I would have, uh, I would have been okay, you know, cause where it was, where I was coming off of, it, it wasn't deep, it was only like, a foot of water so even then you know just be careful when you come out here and just do your best at like looking at the condition and if you don't want to just don't go out there you know just don't risk it so anyways hopefully we catch a fish today stick around and i'll see you guys on the next flag like if the flag goes up so see you soon legs up hopefully it's not the wind i'll see it spinning it'll just be the wind Oh, it's spinning. It's spinning. Yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, it's a largemouth. Let's go. <laughs> dude, what the heck? It's got a largemouth, dude. <laughs> yes. Dude, sweet, man. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. No wonder it felt so light when I was pulling it. Sweet. Dude, your teeth are freaking sharp. Wow, dude. Let's freaking go, man. Yeah. All right, let me just get a quick picture of this so my brother would believe me. There you go, guys. First, second bass, actually, of the year. And you know what? We're going to give you a meal for being awesome, all right? Don't worry, there's no lead in here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fishing good. Gobble up. See ya. Cheese. <sighs> I quit. <laughs> Man, it's been tough out there, guys. I don't know what to say, honestly, because I tried these two, three different spots that I found. I couldn't get a single big fish to come in. You know, I couldn't get anything to come in i mean i got that pike to show up to look at it then i got that large mouth you can see on the video overall it's just been really tough i'm not gonna lie to you guys i mean like i can go for bluegills and crappies and other panfish and stuff but i wanted to like catch something exciting like something big for you guys to watch so i've been trying i've been trying and going to these different areas just trying to figure out a different pattern i mean like i know there's certain areas that a lot of people go to that do have these like big pike big walleye and big large mouth stuff like that but there are areas that i truly want to learn and break down how to catch them so so because this video was so uh disappointing you guys can go ahead and watch the outing that myself and darren the guy that i met at the bait shop we went out and did some pan fishing and tip up fishing we caught a few here and there i'm only going to show you guys the two crappies we caught a bunch a bunch of bluegills but the two crappies uh i think a large mouth and a pike was the most highlighted like thing on there so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe like comment and i'll see you guys next time Nice crappie. Look, like flying up. Oh god, oh, that was a big one. Whoa. That was, that was a big crappie. It flew up. Dang. What? Dang, I was not ready for that. It shot up so quick, I didn't even get time to set the hook. Oh my, see, again, missed him again. Hey, these are crappie, the ones are flying up like that. Yeah. They're coming up off the bottom. There we go, look at that. Crappie, oh my gosh, slab, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're way at the bottom. <gasps> nice. Bro, look at this one. That's a nice That's one. the one I want right there. There you go. Yee!
Jeez. Oh, it's running. It's running. Got him. Oh, no. It popped off. It broke me off. It was a big fight. Legs up again, guys. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, dude, it's running, it's running, it's running. <laughs> Not that big. It's a, oh, it's a large mouth. -hoo -hoo. Yeah. All right, low bass. Come back. See ya. It's been a real. Oh my gosh, it's gonna spool me out. They always run out that way, dude. What the heck? All right. I think I got him this time. He's All in right. the weeds. Alright, stay on. Stay on. <laughs> my marker. Oh yeah, look at him. He's big. Nice. Is he? Yes. yes. Dude, let's go. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. gosh. Yes. Took him long yes. enough. <laughs> fish with Darren. It's a nice fish. Want a picture? Yep. Ah, oh, no, it's okay. I got it on the GoPro. All so right. we'll wait till it gets bigger, you know. 